prepare the men for battle. Our time is now. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome back to another fishing adventure gear edition. All right, guys. If you're new to the channel, thanks for hanging out and stopping by. I appreciate all the support. All right, so what do we got going on here? No, we're not gonna head into battle today, but I'm cleaning out the truck, and that's one of my props for my classroom, and of course, I left it in the truck, and I need to get it out and uh, back into, uh, get into the school. It came in a package that I found uh, on the porch, so uh, Friday, and then I took it to school, and guess what? I forgot to bring it in because it was in the back seat. So we'll get it in there. But anyway, many of you know that I, you know, I teach world history, so uh, <laughs> I love having props and things like that for the classroom. All right. So welcome to the worldwide headquarters here at Casual Observations. So I got to tell you guys, I put in a preliminary order to MEPS. So. You know I start smiling when I see the Sheldon's ink on there because that's AKA MEPS. And let's take a look at what I got. This lure right here was such a big deal for me this summer. I caught that PB brown trout. I never tested the Comet True V. And these are absolutely remarkable. Let's take a look at what it says. Hopefully I can get that into view for you. The True V spinners are UV enhanced beyond our traditional fish, fish finishes. Every MEPS that True, True V features a blade and body paint with colors that are proven fish catchers. Each blade also features a pattern that provides maximum contrast at any depth and under all fishing conditions. We call it True V. You may not be able to see it, but the fish sure can. All right, guys, sorry about that. Stumbling and bumbling. I didn't have my glasses on. All right, so I got a size four. I'm gonna t I'll get some more, but I just wanted to get this uh, first order out of the way. I'll probably do it in another month or so, a couple of months. But I wanted to pick up the four, take a look at it. and I'll test it out around here on bass uh, here in Texas, but this one's gonna be a big one for pike for me, and I'll get the size five also. But uh, so I grabbed a couple of those. Now this is a thing, you guys know I love MEPS and I've caught tons of fish on them in the videos. But I've never used the Aglia Bright. They use the same kind of a weight in there like the MEPS XD, which I use all the time. But these are in the Aglia style. So I picked up a whole bunch of size threes and I may grab some fours, but I need to test these out. So, we'll get those rolling. The difference between the MEPS XD and the Agli is the type of blades that they use and how they position them. All right, the other thing, this one didn't come in this box, it came in a separate package, but it's, it's all, Mr. Twister and MEPS are all pretty much there at Sheldon's. I picked up some of these fat curly tail grubs in the bluegill color, and these things are going to be added to the arsenal. I had quite a bit of luck with the grubs this summer. All right, now for some non-fishing items. All right, guys, there were so many videos I wanted to make, and videos I, I just didn't have time to. I was trying to cram in all the fun that I could before I had to come back here. So, I had to come in a little bit early this summer to get a classroom ready and get things rolling, start getting digging things out of boxes to get ready for the school year. So anyway, I didn't get really a chance to make quite as many videos as I wanted. But one thing I did was, let me get these over here, is these are a couple of fire steels that my brother helped me make. I got these red stag or red deer antlers from, they came from Scotland. Now these are actually over there, they use these for chew toys for dogs. But what we did was, is we cut them and then I put the fire steels in them, and they're not a you know they're they're not completely straight, and it's fine with me. It actually it has a nice grip there with the curve in them, but you can see we were or I this summer uh, put it to good use in different situations. So I was happy to use those. The other thing I really liked using was this thermocell. Man, it was a lifesaver. So what I did was 
uh, any places that I knew it was going to be buggy, like in the woods, a forest, on all those places in Iowa where I was fishing, I deployed the thermocell. Set it and forget it is pretty much what it is. So it comes with a fuel cartridge, and you can buy these cartridges separately. In fact, I have a whole bunch of them. You screw it in there. You pop this on. Then here's the on-off switch. Once it's on, then you click this, and it'll light up. And then inside there, you'll be able to see if it's lit, it'll glow. It'll be like an orange glow. It doesn't stink or anything. And here's a little bait pad, but it does put off a little bit of smoke here and there. I guess that's the, you know, how the product releases the repellent. But I would just have it set up like at the base of it, of uh, the Cryptek, the Ego Cryptek tackle bag or like next to a rock or just somewhere near where I was fishing. And man, it did the trick. It kept the mosquitoes away. All right, the last thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is this. This, oops, I think I bumped the camera there. This Ranger Grip 78. I've already done a review on this, but this thing is great. I used it to cut uh, all the time to cut the, the 20 pound braid that I use and the 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. I've got a little clip knife in the tackle bag that I sometimes use, and you've seen me use those orange uh, forcep kind of looking things. They're, they're pliers and scissors, but I use this quite a bit. The problem is when you're using stuff like that, you don't ever really, then you realize, oh, I should have made a video when it, you know, it's too late, but the lanyard I made for it, the one thing I love about this is it's got the Phillips head screwdriver. That's the difference between it and the Ranger Grip 79. And I use this quite a bit this summer because in the fishing cabin, there's a spiral staircase that goes upstairs. And there's these little rungs that for support that go all the way up, kind of like a little iron rod rung. And on the top of it, it screws into the rail of the stairs. So with this, I could reach up in there and tighten the screws in there. A screwdriver was too long to, to fit up in there, so I use this. And you know, it comes with the toothpick and tweezers, I never really use them. But the other thing was the, this blade for the saw was just phenomenal. I had a snag along the shoreline. It was wrapped around a pretty thick branch and I couldn't snap it. So what I did was I broke this out and sawed the base of the branch off. It was a dead branch of like an oak, maybe a hickory. And then I pulled that branch in. I got the majority of my line in, and then I got the tangle out. So, and of course, to retract everything, you just hit the little button here, and she'll come in. And uh, so that was great out there on the fishing to get that tangle out with the saw. Then I used this to open a couple of uh, beers. <laughs> Uh, back at the cabin. So, you know, I just carry it with me and I really enjoy it. It's got this kind of rubberish grip on there. So, if you're looking for a cool one, I recommend you get one of these. I ordered like a little sheath for it. So, of course, by Victorinox. And the thing is, guys, I'm going to need your help. I love using this Ranger Grip 78 and it can handle just about anything. For my bushcraft buddies, it'll handle all your camp chores and then some. But I need to get another Swiss Army knife. I kind of like to collect them. I don't want to get a whole bunch of them. But I've got like the little classic and I've got the climber. And somewhere I've got a tinkerer. But I want to get another one. I don't want to get the exact same thing as this. And the Ranger Grip 79 is pretty much the same thing except it has a corkscrew. But I want another one. You can never have too many of these even though I said I didn't want to collect a whole bunch but you know what I mean just have a, a few here and there especially since I got that Austrian uh, military pack from uh, army surplus it was like 35 bucks to carry all my extra fishing gear while I can throw in one of these uh, knives and keep it in there or keep one in the truck and uh, have an extra one in the tackle bag but whatever the case is you know, I'll get that sorted out, but I want to get another one of these. So I need your help in figuring out what 
is another good one for my lifestyle, outdoors, camping, fishing. So my European viewers and people from around the world that use the different Swiss Army knives, drop a comment below, what's the next one I should get? One that's durable, can get the job done with things, and that uh, I won't be disappointed with. I haven't tested a whole bunch of them out, and I mean, I try to watch videos and see what's going on out there, but I really need some good feedback and another one to pick up. So please help me with that and, and let me know, uh, give me some recommendations on that. For my fishing buddies, pick one of those up. You're not gonna be disappointed, whether it be the Classic, the, the Climber, or this the Ranger Grip Series. Um, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, not much else to report, you know, it's just been getting school fired up, so I hadn't been out there uh, fishing as much. Maybe this weekend I'll be able to get out there for sure next weekend and uh, test some stuff. But, um, you know, I had, had a great summer, had a good time out there fishing, and now I'm ready to get back in and get things rolling for school. But um, that's pretty much it. If you never ordered or used any MEPs before, Get them, guys. You're not going to be disappointed. Test out the True V, Comet True V series. And, of course, the curly tail grubs, the fat curlies from Mr. Twister. They're a good price. You can use them for trailers on different things. I just rig them straight up with, a, you know, as is with a quarter ounce, sometimes a little bit smaller jig head and fish. And in some of the videos this summer, you saw that I got a nice walleye. I got uh, some small mouth on the black and chartreuse, fat curly tail grip. Good stuff. All right, I think that's going to wrap it up. Hey, until next time, guys, I'll see you then. Thanks for hanging out with me today and uh, checking out uh, the new gear that I got in and some updates. And um, as I get ready for school, <laughs> hopefully uh, I can get my other orders in here pretty quick. But until next time, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.